was a pretty similar situation up here, Ellie. It was 29 degrees Celsius yesterday at the Highlands Games. We saw one lady actually collapse because it was so warm. And you were talking about the grass in the southeast a little earlier, saying it was very yellow. And actually in Scotland, it's not much different. You can see there are patches of green, but overall it is very, very brown indeed. I don't think there's much of a, a drought concern here uh, in Aberdeenshire, but what is concerning is the high risk of wildfires in eastern and southern Scotland. That's according to the uh, the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service here until Monday. Uh, it is a big concern because around here there are lots of trees which have been planted for timber, which is a huge fire risk. There are signs everywhere saying no barbecues, no campfires, um, which is also concerning because wild camping here is actually uh, quite a, a good pastime for, uh, for, for tourism. Uh, and just over there there's also uh, this is a natural forest um, up here on the hillside so that is uh, less of a risk but wildfires as I said is a big big concern here but we're here for On Your Doorstep which of course uh, is talking to local businesses about tourism and their connections to the royal family here in Ballater. Now I'm at Cycle Highlands which uh, hires bikes for um, local people who well for tourists who are very keen on mountaineering because they do very specialist bikes so let's speak now to Richard. Richard thank you welcome to GB News. Thanks Cameron hi good to see you. Good to see you. So first of all tell me about your business what is Cycle Highlands all about? Well, Cycle Highlands is a, a bike shop, essentially, but we do a lot of mountain bike guiding, um, demo rides and test rides for people coming to ride in the area and try nice bikes. And you were saying this area, just talking about the royal connections here, we're opposite the hotel here, the yeah. Balmoral Arms, yeah. and Queen Victoria has a special connection to this area. Yeah, well, obviously, Queen Victoria started tourism, um, started Balta's sort of expansion, really, to what you see now. And the, uh, the Balmoral Arms over there, you can see the original part of the hotel in the middle there. So Queen Victoria did stay here a couple of times. And actually our site here was um, the gardens for this hotel. So she is reputed to have sort of wandered around here in the 1800s at some point. Amazing. So what kind of cycle hire do you do? It's kind of a kind of high-end, experienced mountaineers. Yeah, we cater for we cater for all types of cyclists. But in terms of rental, we cater for sort of high-end mountain bikers who are maybe visiting from a Europe, from the US, who don't have a bike with them but have a lot of experience riding our kind of trails. I see. Well, let me hand you the microphone and I'll see if I can sure. sit on one of these bikes. So what this bike is... First of all, the wheels are massive compared to most bikes I have seen. So why do they have to have such thick tyres? Well, this is a Santa Cruz Mega Tower and it's a 29er, so it's, which uh, refers to the wheel size. And it's typical of the um, kind of bike that if you to ride all the trails in this area that, uh, that you might need. Oh, I see. Uh, and it's made of carbon fibre, really light. It is, yeah. This one's carbon fibre. I mean, you don't. this is a pretty expensive bike. You don't have to spend this sort of money to enjoy the trails around here but this is a really nice example one of the latest bikes that uh, Santa Cruz have brought out. So seven or eight thousand pounds you said this one it's, It is in that sort of area Whoa. this one yeah. Very yep. very expensive you can see why people want to hire it I suppose. Absolutely yeah I mean if you're going to buy this sort of bike you know you want to try it first it's a lot of money a bit like buying a car so um, this is one of the sort of areas that we specialise in. Here. What I found uh, by being in Ballater over the last few days is the numbers of tourists. Um, obviously a fairly summer thing here. So, you know, is it, you know, is, is it a seasonal business? Yeah, I mean, we find, you know, selling bikes and repairing bikes and so on is an all-year-round thing. But in terms of footfall, maybe people renting, people needing things fixed, uh, guiding, mountain bike guiding, that sort of thing, then, yeah, that's very seasonal. So once we get past... September, then it does drop off quite a lot. Great, thank you so much, Richard. Well, it's no worries, a beautiful thank you. day here in Aberdeenshire. There are many mountains and hills around. I think it's time for a little cycle ride, don't you?